Hey everyone, we are in Florida today. We're so excited because we get to go see Tico and the Man. Woohoo! So we're gonna visit Frank and his Amazon, his singing Amazon. A lot of you guys have asked what their origin story is, so we're gonna find out for you and see what kind of behavioral issues, nutrition issues, all of that that we can help out with. First things first, we met Tico. We know that his humans absolutely love and adore him and care for him really, really well. However, we don't know what we don't know. And what they don't know is what to properly feed Tico. So unfortunately, we find out that Tico is definitely not on the ideal diet. He is on a diet of Nutriberries, which is basically like a big jackpot reward treat. It's a little ball of seeds mostly. And then he also has what they refer to as kibble, which is a few different types of of pellets that contain dyes, filler ingredients, and just a lot of junk. So this is a very high fat diet, high sugar diet, and not to mention, he actually has access to this 24 seven. His bowl is never empty. This is something where we definitely took the time to educate Tico's humans on what the proper diet is. If you're unfamiliar, please visit our website at birdtricks.com to check out what the proper diet is. Your bird should be receiving fresh food and then a very high quality cold pressed organic pellet in the evening. And that just kind of supplements what they don't get from the fresh food. So just wanted you guys to be able to go with the peace of mind that we did educate them on diet. We have all the resources coming their way as far as pellets and our seasonal freeze dried recipe and all of that. It is on the way to their house so that they can hopefully implement that ASAP and get Tico on a very healthy, more ideal diet than the one he's currently on. So let's skip over to the training. Do you guys want to scoot together like you like each other? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> So wet and yucky. I like it when it's down though. You look no, savage. Not. You look savage. I like wet and yucky. Dave, where have you been all my life? <laughs> right here. The Amazon look, I love it. No, oh, of course yes. he looks the Amazon look. Well, it all started when I was uh, actually making a training video for a product that I was going to represent. I was practicing a video and Tico was interrupting it rudely with screaming and yelling and I couldn't throw in the towel. I had to you know, plow on learn this. I was learning actually Stairway to Heaven, which is a hard song to learn. So instead of, instead of stopping and waiting for the noise level to drop, I actually moved my guitar out into the lanai area and I sat next to him and I started playing and it calmed him down, but he shifted gears from the screaming carrying on to what he does today. And I was like, hey Gina, you gotta come over and we gotta get this on film. And so she came out and she filmed it and uh, I put it on my personal Facebook and this was like in the very beginning of the pandemic. So everybody stuck at home. It went crazy viral. You know, after being home stuck for a few weeks in April, I started my YouTube channel of 2020. And a few months later, Kelly Clarkson's people called me and we were on her second season. So it's just taken off naturally. Nowadays, it seems like you have to be present for him to sing. But in the beginning, it sounds like Gina was not there. Yeah, the initially I was going outside. No, Gina has always been behind the camera. So she's always been there and she's always been behind the camera. I did try to do a couple of them myself where I laid the camera on the table and it fell down a few times and it was real raw footage and it was early stuff, but he did his thing. I mean, it was really the music triggering it, but I do believe he is doing this for her. But he'll practice when I'm not around. If you're practicing, he'll practice his singing when I'm not around. Yeah, that's a, he does have like a but dress But just kind of like it. trying out sounds, not necessarily his singing. <laughs> He sings and does his own vocabulary and his own crooning or sorts uh, in tune. And I think that's what blows everybody's mind when they see that. And you guys are one of the few people that got to see that in person. And it's really wicked cool. And it's hard not to laugh and see him. And he gets the old babies in and the oh yeah. And they all, they all roll in at the right time. So it sounds contrived and trained and, you know, and it's not, it's au naturel and it's all his vocabulary. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> 
so you guys can ask me questions. Tico absolutely goes crazy. He loves it. And he reacts differently than like, every oh, instrument. So, oh, so, so he, it really gets him going as the electric. But we're going to do uh, Ain't No Sunshine. Oh, All right, Tico, you ready? What it is, usually give Gina the countdown. One, two, oh. does too but I think he's also mimicking because I've heard him I've heard him mimic the guitar and the different sounds I make especially when I bring my my wah wah or my tremolo in and I'll bend do the bends he'll go wah 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 you know and it's like where did you get that from the guitar and I know we did our session just before this so you heard this you heard this phenomenon I'm sure your audience will see it but it's it's incredible that he really does a combination of feel the music and mimic things it's a combo because he doesn't have much of a vocabulary. How can you not teach me any real words? <laughs> I, think, I try. Because you heckler, you. <laughs> Truly will say this is the best chapter in my life. Uh -huh. I mean, get, you know, having my guitar playing heard later in the years, I think one of the goals is to take him out more and experience more traveling, maybe do Fleetwood Mac at the Grand Canyon. You know, just kind of get creative. So I, yeah, my goal ultimately is to get Tico out, off, you know, Working. Maybe even come to work with me. Oh, I'm the wimpy one. I just want him to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> what does happiness look like? A content, non yelling bird who <laughs> just wants to be around people and to be friendly. Like that. It's <laughs> more like what does happiness sound like? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's probably. Yeah, that's more the question. What does happiness sound like? Frank, Frank, Frank. <laughs> And, it. <laughs> and just so you know, those Franks, those multiple Franks, you know, I'm Frank, my dad's Frank, and when my mom visits, <laughs> a Frank fest is basically what it is. And Tico picked up on that many, many years ago and has not let it go. So that's where that comes from, because Gina does not call me like that, Frank, Frank, Frank. And she has another nickname for me, which we won't use. <laughs> but um, <laughs> just call me by that. It like, does. <laughs> we'll talk about that off air. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's happiness.